What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have an, another exciting video in the course review series here on EA Sports PGA Tour. Today we are diving into the Dominican Republic for the Teeth of the Dog. This is a beautiful ocean course with about seven holes, six or seven holes spanning the ocean. And it, as you can see from the little screenshot here, it looks like they designed it to perfection. The little, um, Little description of the course here. It's obviously a Pete Dye signature course. Teeth of the Dog is carved from the rock and coral of the Dominican coastline, featuring seven holes along the ocean. That is a lot for an ocean course. Um, we get to experience everything inland a little bit as well, palm trees. I mean, when you go to an island course, you really can't be that upset with your surroundings, but it's gonna be those seven holes in particular that I can't wait to, to dive in and see how they design them because again, that is so far we've we've experienced Augusta, we've experienced TPC Boston, both have been designed to an absolute perfection. An ocean course I can only imagine is the same. You get the beautiful coral, you get the beautiful rocks. I'm excited, let's dive in. So we're gonna be playing all 18 holes here again. Last video for TPC Boston, we're just going down the list. We played as Patrick Cant Cantley. Today we're jumping in with my boy Xander Shoffley, who is hosting a 91 overall, which is pretty solid. We're gonna dive right in. So here we go, Teeth of the Dog. Beautiful, beautiful island course. There is quite a few uh, ocean courses here in this game, but this this has got to be from the one of the top of the in terms of at the scenery. Casa de Campo Look at that! In the Absolutely Republic. gorgeous. This is EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner, and partner, you and I have called a lot of rounds of golf through the years. I know there's always something that piques your interest. How about today? Rich, every day brings you a chance, a chance to do Love the music, special. the vibes. And when we get to sit in this perch, that's what I look for. And I don't want to see the, the head going down. I want to see that every single shot is a chance to do something All right, here special. we go. That could be a chip. T number one. Chip goes in. Uh, this beautiful, beautiful the Dominican Media Republic drive, course. Rifle down the fairway. Do something special. So as you can see here, we're, we start a little bit inland. I mean, there's, can you really complain about this views when the entire, the entire hole is <laughs> outlined with palm trees? There's the rock little tee box there. It's an absolute beautiful course uh, through and through. Nice and open. Weather looks good. We got a little bit of wind up there. Let's just try and put a good, good swing on the first one. A little bit wobbly with the follow through there, but... At the end, we finish straight. We're gonna pump that one down there about 320. Good, a good rollout. It's probably gonna be even farther than that. So good shot to start off here. Big drive there to get the round started. I think I saw on the course description that this plays a little bit softer. Obviously, being right on the coastline, there's probably a lot of precipitation and weather. So here we go. We got a nice little finesse shot here. Don't need to really put a fader or draw on it. It's a pretty straight shot. We got a little bit of a hill lie. Could pop out just a smidge right, but the wind should hold it back. That needs to go a bit. We underswung just a smidge. So coming up well short there, probably about a 30-foot putt. Not bad. 32 In feet, 10 inches. Turn mulligan. You'd love that to do over there, wouldn't you? All right, here we go. Just, we got an uphill putt. It's probably going to turn right. just a bit to the right, but uphill, we've noticed in this game that it does take a lot of the break off. So we just not looking for a birdie really here. Would be nice, but just looking to cozy this one up nice and close. If it does turn, we did put a little bit extra juice. Does need to stop, so... Not as uphill as maybe I thought. I wanted to make sure I got it there, but that may have been a little bit extra too much pace. So here oh, we go. Seven footer. Let's just die this one in the hole. Boom. Get out of here Same with the par. No harm, no foul. Four. So big show off the first tee with the drive. I got to say they did Sanders model very, for. very well. Obviously, this we played as a few of the professionals. Early on the board, his seems to be very, very similar to his mannerisms. To 75 yard poke covers that trouble. On Beautiful the hole here. Do that. You Number two, nice angle into this green you can see that there's the natural three. bunker on the left-hand side, which is which is a pretty cool feature here that they have kind of through some of the holes. You can see this this little sweeping bunker all the way down has the natural rock, so kind of cool considering this is one of the holes that is away from the water. You get this kind of natural bunker, and it's outlined with all this wooden stakes that they put on. You can also see down in the distance there on that bunker that they have the wooden stakes that kind of frame the tree line there, so... Another beautiful hole here. We're gonna add a bit of a draw just to make sure we can get this out and around this little initial tree. A bit of a shoot tee box here. Horrible tee shot. I slipped on my thumb there. Not ideal, hit the tree. So even though we played for the draw, I hit the other tee because as you can see on my, my shot shaper there, I kind of slipped and tried to correct it at the end, but unfortunately 
not the best. You can see Xander's using the Second new Callaway driver, the Steve. Paradigm. Well, he's left himself 121 yards to the hole, and that pin, well, it's we back left today. Good, good second shot here. Is peeling a little left. We did push it, or we were fast on that tempo, which is going to send it a little bit to the left. Uh, a little bit of an underswing, but honestly, uh, yeah, I mean, feet, if we put full power imagine, on that, that so may have sailed the green. Shot, so really here we go. Awesome another uphill chance, putt. Man. Not going to put as much. It did seem like it was still fast, regardless of it being uphill. Probably a little tiny bit left to right, maybe a cup. Let's see if we can get this one close. A little closer than last time. Wow. A lot of break. Hit that one pretty well. It's so maybe just a little so bit of a misread, but... You'd hope to get that a wow, that looks exactly like Xander Shoffley. Here we go. Another par to, uh, to go even through two here at this beautiful ocean so course. So that off for his par. A couple of fours to get his round underway. Not bad. Well, this third hole is another good scoring opportunity. Par five and just a little bit more than 500 yards, so not terribly long. Not, not a bad. You can start seeing. I don't know if you saw that in the flyby. We are getting closer. Hole five is the first one of the ocean view. Holes. If you make Can't wait. Or here we go. Kind of a basic looking hole. Again, nothing wrong with it. There's palm trees in the distance, some flowers, a nice open feel to this uh, kind of short par five. A couple bunkers spread out here. Nothing to... Uh, too crazy in terms of scenery but yeah you can see that as we flew by watch on the right side there we're getting closer and closer to those ocean holes and i can't wait we're gonna put a little power drive on this just try and send a good one here uh not a bad drive a little slippery this is turning a little pretty good should land soft bounce a little right and we are right smack down in the middle of the fairway we can set ourselves up for a good second shot here and hopefully get on for an eagle putt Xander likes it, and why wouldn't he? That was a great shot. Muscled it down there. Well, now we've left ourselves from here. A second now. A 197. So we're probably gonna club down. We're gonna. I think we can get there with a seven, even though it's uphill. I'd rather be short than long here. If this just checks up on the green early, this should be a good shot. Perfect tempo. Little underswing. It's coming in there. It's just to the left of the flag. Won't get that much rollout. Oh, and he's hit it to exactly what he said. Little that short, nine feet, cool. eleven inches, it's nearly ten so feet well, to the hole for an eagle putt. The of that ball All right, the green. we got a little bit of uphill so and then mostly downhill. So we're just gonna leave the power. It should trickle a little left to right here. We've kind of been. I'm gonna actually zoom in here. So one cool thing is there's lots of different views on the green. Yeah, it looks like once it gets up the hill, it tries trickling just a smidge to the right. I don't want to do it too much. That should be a good putt. And we got ourselves an eagle here on number three. So a couple sloppy first holes to scramble for par. We've got ourselves to two under on that short par five. 500 yards thereabouts. Huge sweeping dog leg right. Dog leg right. Dog leg leg right. Wow, I can't speak today. Dog leg right. And as you can see, we're just about, just about to those beautiful, beautiful die designed holes that span the coastline seven of them seven of them that's a lot but we have this uh we have this big par four to deal with here obviously the dog leg does add a little bit more distance but good tee shot we hit just that xander's got a great swing on him and we carry that 303 yards for probably a 330 carry or roll out 331 you plan with Beautiful. Elsewhere? Here we go. Probably a little bit more left second than we'd want, up, although the pin is tucked to the right time, side, so so not a bad, not a bad one there. Thirty-six yards to the front. A little bit of wind, not much, to the and that's a good and shot right there. The you can kind of see the, hole, the water in the background, the palm trees. Attack mode here. Attack mode. You heard it. Oh, it tucks it just a little bit left. That should be okay though if it just sits soft it does we should have a putt at it is on the fringe but that's okay maybe the excitement of seeing the ocean i do like the fact that all the clubs are in this game so those are the clubs that i use in real life the apex 21s bought those for my career mode show the in the, in the video coming out soon here we go nice little pitch shot no need to do we texas wedge this We could putt this. I like the idea of putting this. Kind of uphill, not much. Don't want to kill it. Let's just get it there. It's going to swing a little to the left at the start and then back to the right. So we'll probably just aim pretty straight at the hole. 
That might be too pacey. Yeah, All right, not bad. Good run at that, but not bad. Go down. Good birdie Slow. attempts. We got a tap good in good par. Me. Xander's not the most happy, but as the player, I'll take that any day of the week. Going two under as we approach these okay, beautiful holes. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat because we have now reached the scenic uh, par three at number five. Watch this. Par three of the day, the fifth. So good oh my gosh. The round. You see the ocean on the left and, and wow. the green looks tiny. <laughs> Sitting next to that Caribbean. It Look at that really water. Small target here. This is an excellent challenge. That is... What a breathtaking view this is. The, the coral rock cuts that they've done into the like look at this they've they've nailed this they've gotten all the different colors and textures of the rocks the beautiful blue water yeah they've done a they've done a very good job with these holes and you can see all the holes running along the coastline we got like i said seven i believe there's about four in a row all right let's just let's just finesse a, a, a nice little eight iron right to the flag winds gusting a little to the right which is a nice swing here xander It's it pretty good. That does need to stop. It was downhill. I probably could have clubbed down there, but we are safely aboard here at the Spar Three. All right, you don't have to catch just it. Just taking in the surroundings. Every time that's on the middle of the dance floor. Xander likes it. Coming up. Here we go. Another this birdie putt. Pretty flat. Bonus if it went in more Gonna than go a little to the right. This one close. And that's even. An, look at all the houses and the resorts down on the far end there. Come on Xander, get this close needs to sit so probably a little bit more downhill i did add a little bit of extra power onto that one try not to leave too many putts short that was one thing that i had in my round with Just with patrick left. at tpc boston was i left quite a few, few putts on the amateur side so Trying to just make sure I get a little bit more aggressive and get the putt there. Length for granted, but that's in for a par. Here's another outstanding par for the sixth hole. Oh it's my goodness. 500 yards. Familiar view. This is one hugging the coastline, and it's going to hug it, and hopefully you're going to hug it and love it for the rest of this front nine. Beautiful, beautiful hole. You can see a pool in the little resort there or house. I'm not sure which, if that's part of the resort, if that's just somebody's house, but look at this. Again, tee box framed with that little bit of a, a rock brick sort of looking wall. You got all the natural coral stone and then the beautiful, beautiful green fairways here at Teeth of the Dog. And another great drive, just a little fast, but with the way Xander makes contact, I don't think fast is really going to matter too much on these long drives. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance. Good yeah, absolutely through. beautiful tee shot there. Hole. He likes it. We're happy. So Iona, this is second from the fairway. One, three, one, all the way to the flag today. We're going to add a little bit of a portion of the green. Little bit of a draw here because I just want to try and get it. If I miss, I want it to get up onto that collection area, not away from it. So. Little tiny bit of a draw here. Try and have it funnel back towards the water. Hits it good. Little fast, but the fast should add a little bit of distance. So if anything... Oh, it didn't land that soft. It took a really awful bounce. Not bad. Just off the just off the green there. And maybe try and chip this in. Pretty straight look. I could probably actually putt this, but I think for now we're just going to do a little, little chip. Didn't hit it as good as I wanted to. Thing with chips I find in this game is if you go to the little guideline that the, the swing plane tells you, uh, you can actually find yourself sending the, the chip very long. And then, I mean, on this green, if you do that, it's it's funneling down into that collection zone at the front front of the green. So we did definitely didn't want that. Good looking putt. Yep, good work. Not to let that get away. Two under. Kind of just on a, on a par a train here for the most part. The Took advantage of the par five. The front, the Got a good score going. There's the beautiful the hole. One. It's the hole that put Teeth of the Dog on the map. You can Look see at this. the Caribbean on your left, and you understand just why. <laughs> this is special. Yeah, this these might be some of the world's best par threes. And, I, and I, I, there's a lot out there, in my opinion. I remember the first time I saw this this course, I was in complete awe because, and it looks like this. They've done a miraculous job. The water physics look great. The Again, the rock carved out of the coral stone looks it's just beautiful, and you can see a tee box in the distance there. That'll probably be the eighth hole. Just a, a, a very, very beautiful, beautiful looking. I don't really want to finesse this one. 
I think we just gotta kind of rip a five iron and and put a little bit of a a, a draw on this. Just pace is pace is what we need here. Good good tempo. We were a little fast. That is gonna run out, I think. Just barely, yeah. That one I just added. I was too quick with my and with my follow through there. On the green, but not Probably could have clubbed down a either. second time. It was a little tiny bit downhill. Oh man, this is uh, so far this is an absolutely breathtaking view. Here we go. Not a bad looking Still pitch. Over ambitious on little fast. Just sailed not past. bad. We'll take that. He's happy. I'm not sure if he should be that happy about that one, but feet. here we go. Long uphill putt. It's going to break a little right to left. I hope we've given it enough, but we'll find out. Oh, and it just drops on the on the short side. That's okay. So, tough par three. Misjudged the tee shot. We're here with our first bogey putt of the day. We're going to drop at least one back. Hopefully, it's just the one. Did pull that okay, putt just to, or push that putt just a little bit, but side, that is in for both. tough course. I mean, you got the you got the water, the wind effects. It, it might only be two to three miles per hour, but once you get the ball really high in the air above those palm trees, you notice it. It kind of pushes the ball. The Caribbean. Man, if I could live here and play this course all the time, must be a pretty good life. Beautiful, beautiful. These tea, these greens are very small. That's one thing I've noticed about this course. Absolutely small. Beautiful, beautiful. We have different looks there. Kind of want to just... Here we go. Pop this one out. Uh, it's bleeding a little to the left. I had that a bit of an overswing. The left edge of the Come, on. Fairway. Come on. Go. Okay, we are safe. Barely. Barely safe After as we that, just narrowly the avoid those rocks. The rough here, it's going to be uh, time to like have a little tap on right, the here we go. cranium and get things in the right place. We are going to. What is this shot? Okay. I, I can't change the camera angle. For some reason, it it won't let me. So we are going to be doing this really interesting looking top down view. Not sure how I feel about it, but we'll give it a go. Kind of cool though, kind of a cool little thing. It was very hard to get the uh, the top of my backswing with that camera angle, but that was that was interesting. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up. Very uh, very unique. Flag, still <laughs> All right, we got another uphill burn. putt. A look here at birdie. Giving ourselves lots of uphill putts. So flat part of the green, and this is about as straightforward as they come. He's just got to get it there. All right, Noah's saying there's not a lot of break in it, so let's just. Aim pretty straight, get it there. Oh, we had the line at the initial one and no, no to Begay. Kind of got inside my head there. I probably shouldn't have listened to it. We saw the break on the green. That's okay. Tap in. Another par. Now we got a par five. We should. We got to try and capitalize on this. And just so you guys know, we are playing on some of the harder difficulties. There are quite a few settings that you can customize your experience. As you see on this par five, we kind of get away from the coastline. But beautiful trees. Whatever those red ones are there look great. Yeah, there is so much setting customization that you guys can find to it to whatever difficulty you want. We're playing on swing plane hard. We're playing on putting hard. Um, we haven't turned off the swing plane visualizer yet. Especially while I'm playing two or pros, they all have different swing speeds. I don't really want to get too aggressive, take it off, and then regret it while I'm doing these course reviews because this is just about fun, kind of uh, exploring these beautiful courses. This is a nice looking one coming away from the water. Nice little tee box there. Got some very interesting uh, camera angles that's trying to throw at us here, but here we go. Big rip down the middle. So with Xander, I haven't really been able to figure out how fast his tempo is. He's definitely faster than what Patrick Cantley was. With Cantley, we were dialed in quite a bit there. We were that getting perfect on both the, the swing and the, the tempo. So Xander's got a little bit of a, a speedier follow through. So it's just going to take some time to get used to that. But here we go. Par five. We can definitely get there. I think hybrid's actually going to be too much. So I'm going to just try and rip a four iron. It is uphill quite a bit. We got a little tiny gust of helping wind. Two miles, not nothing great, but here we go. Might even try and add a little bit of a fade just so we can get it up onto that higher 
position green. That looked like a good tempo and good distance. Barely overswung that one. Fast rhythm. Ooh, that needs to sit. So we probably could even club down to a five iron there. I guess you could say slow and steady is going to win this. Oh, we got a flop shot so now. We're going to have to flop this because also we definitely don't have a lot of green to work slow, with. It is running away from the hole. That is a very, very difficult now. pin position, too. This this is this is going to be every touches everything here. Land soft. OK, so we got it over the flag, had a little bit too much pace on that. So we sent it a little bit farther than we wanted to. That was a difficult shot. A straightforward look here. For Very Birdie. uphill here. We don't want to crush a pass because if we get a pass, it's going to it's going to funnel off the green. So I'm going to aim straight at it. Doesn't look like a lot of break. Maybe a tiny little bit left to right. Right side of the cup. Here we go. And we got a birdie. So we're back to two under through nine. Take that. Good round. Now we got the back nine to contend with. Second nine, you can put the beautiful, beautiful designs on that front nine. I mean, iconic, iconic par threes. Doesn't mean it isn't challenging. It's plenty. We're going to head inland. First few holes on this backside, starting with a relatively easy par four. The tenth is about 400 yards. Yeah, very interesting hole. Looks like not that far of a, of a driving room. 410 to get to the front of the green. Dog leg left. Saying we could potentially drive this onto this part, and you know what? If Xander's caddy likes it, I like it. We're actually going to add a fade. Ooh, I don't really want to fade. Actually, this might just need to be a straight shot because I don't want to bring those trees into contention here. It's a big rip down the middle. Let's see if we can cut off a lot of this, this hole and just set up for a nice approach shot. A little wobbly on the follow through, but I think we have it's enough distance to get it there. Get a good bounce. Ooh, just that thick. That rough is thick, and we just crushed that. 311 carry, 337. Holds we got I guess it's better a to be small 30-yard chip coming up. So I'm going to try and uh, kick his second use a high four. flop shot here, and I'm just going to try and land it extremely, extremely soft. I just want to see what the high flop shot looks like. Let's see if we can't put this one close. Not bad. Sit right there. Oh, it didn't go enough. So we underswung it by 4.4% and kind of got punished. Lucky that didn't trickle down that hill because there's a little bit of a plateaued green right there. Now we got a to go. pretty, pretty strongly uphill putt. Just got to get it there. Not going to move a lot. Again, these greens don't seem to have a lot of break in them. And being uphill is going to take a lot of that off. Right in the yes. center. Beautiful way to start the 10th. Where's back nine at the 10th? So I got to say, those front nine, again, the inland holes are nothing crazy. Beautiful little wall running down the fairway here. I do like the design of the fairways, the way they kind of are very moving with the environment. But it's, it's that hole five to, to eight there. Those are special, and you're going to see those coming up once we play a little bit more holes here to, to close out this, and it's absolutely stunning, of course. Here we go. We got a good round going three under just made a beautiful birdie let's see if we can't power one down there again now we're gonna add our fade to add just a smidge of distance let's see if we can't pipe one down here with this paradigm driver triple diamond <laughs> that one is hopped out on us way He's right i'm not sure exactly right how i guess the fast pace that needs to sit that is going to be a difficult shot we're going to have to lay up for sure 235 so yards nestles down in the rough. So that's the thing if you if you mess up the tempo has a chance to flare to the left or the right but this is not what we want to see we're gonna have to hack this one out we can probably add a big sweeping hook to this and see if we can at least see if we can at least get it somewhere down there i'm kind of worried about this tree above me but if we keep this keep this as a low fade we might be able to avoid both these trees and get it down there So we did clip the front tree. Didn't take much off it. We're okay there. Still got it down there. I did hit that tree. I was afraid of that, but that second shot here to the par five. Can't really be Frank upset. Absolutely. Everything out of that. Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. It's a nice little pitch shot. I like those red trees. They had a little bit of color. I'm not quite sure what they are. Oh, we tugged that one to a little bit to the left. It needs to sit. Is it going to stay on the green? No, it's going to just trickle off. It's actually going to go back out of the fairway. So I don't like this chip. I don't like the short side. We're going to Texas wedge this. It's uphill, a little left to right. See if we can't get one. At least give this give this a scare of the hole. 
Oh, he hits it good. Is it enough? No, it's short. Oh, just needed a little bit more, but that was beautifully it's okay. judged from five off the on, of on this par five is and it's difficult one. I mean, we flared the tee shot a little bit to the right. I thought I made good contact, but the tempo was just a bit fast. This par four twelfth is pretty straightforward. A bit under five hundred. Just yeah, so we're kind of out the big stick. Good poke here sets you up for a second shot. You'd be happy to walk out with a four, but a couple of good ones, and maybe it's birdie. Okay, so he's saying it's a difficult one just because of the way the the pins position. You got that tree on the left here to contend with. We're kind of in a couple like the, the inland holes are definitely. They're definitely a bit mundane, but I, I gotta say uh, again, if if you know what's coming, then the course itself is is exciting. I mean, again, oops, I was very slow on that one. I was fast. I, I made up for it. The left hand side. But I was way under swing on that one. Shot, um, Xander's he's got a bit of a weird tempoed swing. Yeah, it's very clean. It's just on this game, it feels very different than the last the two floor. pros I used. Can't really so dial can it in right now. Capitalize on the break here. His second from the short grass. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, you can't really scoff at these, quote unquote, what I've said, mundane holes because you're in Dominican Republic at a beautiful golf course with ocean holes still to come to finish That's off the round. Shot. But comparatively, I mean, if we're, if we're, if we're, if we're reviewing the courses, this I got to say that it's not the most, most exciting in terms of holes we've seen from other courses. Like on Augusta National, there's not really a hole that you look around and you're like, oh, I thought for sure that was going to break to the left bad read on my part and really there's not a bad hole here they're just again when you you've got the excitement of those seven holes these inland holes are yeah good concentration there comparatively uh, not the most exciting but it's still a beautiful away, course teeth of the dog has not disappointed yet here's our first par three on this back side very interesting looking par three those par 192 on the massive the donut bunker the green almost creates an island here this is a solid hole requiring go. your best stuff on the tee. So an island type green surrounded by a massive bunker, six iron. I'm actually going to club down and I'm going to try and finesse a, f a six iron in, which if you remember TPC Boston, it's not the most, it's not the easiest to finesse a long iron in, but we're going to give it a whirl. We got a little bit of a wind against us. Hopefully we can stop this right next to the pin. A little bit of an underswing there. But honestly, I think that's going to do wonders for us. Go in the hole. I got to think if that was going in the hole, it would have been a heartbeat moment. We just about made our first ace in EA Sports with Xander. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful shot there. Played that to perfection. Now we got a straight downhill putt for a birdie. That is an unreal hole. Four under. What a round. All right, that was that was cool. I thought for a second I had a chance. Here we go, par five. One of the man-made lakes. See that long bunker running down the right side. Water further right of that. If you're accurate here, you're sensible. Good chance to get out of here with a birdie. There you go. Play it smart, and you got a birdie chance. Very scorable, of course. I mean, that's one thing I've seen. I've seen videos. I believe this is where one of the amateur tour events is played, and people are saying it's a relatively easy course to score on. But I mean, you got the natural elements to compete with. We're obviously drawed in some low, uh, low wind, but it doesn't mean that there's not some challenging uh, things out there. We've already made bogey on a very scorable par three pretty easy just well, left it a little long and that chip back was tough better than that but i mean a fine tee shot right there we're swinging pretty good right now xander seems locked in he's happy four under why wouldn't you be playing out here now, from way very down interesting there, good look at a i gotta say that i don't out. know if it's just the game this seems a little weird this 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 land now it could just be used as a water source i don't know what it's used for there are houses out here um but it seems a little weird it looks looks yeah, I'm not sure I like this lake per, per se, but looks very forced on an island. I will say that. Another good looking finesse shot here. It's going to land right beside the hole. We got ourselves another great birdie opportunity here. Uh, 69 inches. Is home and two on the park. Xander is Remember dialed, feeling good. Earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a yeah, I got to think just second. because if you can see on the tail end, it looks like it comes in a bit. Eagle, but, I got to um, think this is used as a water source for the, the houses and the course. And just it's probably where a lot of the sprinklers would be uh, fed into. Mm, that is 
is a disappointment inside of 10 feet to not wow. be able to that's, get that's that a, one down. That's a bad read. I thought for sure that was a pretty straight punch. I knew it was breaking just a smidge, but that almost looked oh, like it peeled like off at the end. Oh, it's par five? That's a short I par five. Like I thought he said back. it was a par four, walk out with Here's a birdie. That's what he meant. There we go. Stand on the tee box, stare at the Caribbean. Well, that's a nice surprise, you making a four on a five. Head to 15th, to par four. <laughs> that's a lot harder. Hitting that tee shot. Imagine sitting in those stands those as a spectator, watching a beautiful hole at a beautiful course and looking behind you and seeing the absolute most perfect looking ocean Wow. Stunning, stunning hole here. It's a short one. Very short par four. That's why this, this course is so scorable. It's it's a very uh a very easy and attackable course when you have quite a few short holes. Like I didn't even know that that last hole was a par five. Yeah, it all looks so simple. When, when you can you drive at 350 and then have and a short a iron in, I guess I guess that takes a lot of the trouble out. Maybe as an amateur, it's probably, so uh, if I was here, it probably would be a lot a, a lot higher scoring four. than what Xander's putting up right now. But nonetheless, see how low we can go in these last few holes. So with the way it's landing soft, little wind, beautiful sunny day, we can probably come in into the clubhouse. With a pretty with a pretty decent score here. Chance now for that now bird. that is a shot. You can hear the birds, you can hear the water, you can see the water, you can see the houses. Absolutely stunning course here, Teeth of the Dog, Dominican Republic. Woo! Yes. And if you didn't know about this course, now you do. These seven holes, four on the front, three on the back, are all absolutely gorgeous in the world the 16th here at teeth of the dog this is the tee box where really you just want to drop a bag of balls 50 60 balls and just have at it you that's only it. get one but yeah. see what you do with it that's a great point if you could just be out here and just constantly hit balls into this iconic par three look at the tee box on the left there it's raised up a little bit away from the beach they did a great job with the with this course and i'm very anxious to see other courses like it like pebble beach will be fun to play I just figured that a lot of these, a lot of those big name courses like Pebble Beach will probably be a lot of videos on the internet. We're going to get to it. I just, oh, I under hit that a lot. I, that needs to go. That needs to go. Go. Ah, not bad. An extra couple feet and that could have been, uh, be that could have had a chance, but and a not bad, not bad. We're going to try and birdie out here. Have an unreal little, little away. day. Here we go. Straight ahead. I can't see any break. If this breaks, it's going a little bit. Uh, it looks like it's going a little bit left at the start in this straight now. I'm hitting this straight with it with a little bit extra pace. Hopefully we hit the cup. Oh, Xander's on a roll. Xander's on a roll. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go, baby. This we got this 17th. Obviously not the, not the hole that leads back to the... Uh, and this the clubhouse, but is the toughest what a way to finish on the back side. Toughest hole. There you go. So if we can walk out of here with a birdie, then we're doing something right. Oh, my goodness. What a scenic, scenic end to this day. We're going to power one down there. We're, we're, we're not leaving anything back. We got we're going to put a fade on it, add some extra carry distance and just absolutely let this rip. Xander's had a good day going front nine. Very difficult. Scrambled together some some pars. Had that eagle. Finished with a birdie. And now we're just letting the birdies. The birds yeah, are flying here on the back nine. Great Maybe a Beautiful. Go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. You heard it there. I don't well, know what he was just doing with his mouth. Yards here as he's set for his second. Here we go. 74 yards. Get this one close. Finesse shot. Let's get in there with another bird. Oh, he hit it well. He hit it well. Oh, he hit it well. Oh, but it rips back. So now he's going to have... A, I didn't realize how high up that, that flag was today. Yeah, you can see it's, it's going to be a pretty uphill putt. Now this. All right. Another birdie. It definitely yeah, has some right break in it. Minuscule break. Slight upslope. I'm going to play a cup outside. Right to left. Uphill. Let's get the right pace. Come on. Five straight birdies. Turn in, 
turn in. Oh, it tried to. It tried to. Too much pace took the break out of it. I think if we played a more of a dying pace up that hill, we probably could have sunk that. But that's okay. Let's get out of here with a par. No harm on the scorecard. Four straight birdies comes to an end. We're going to 18 here. Back inland towards the clubhouse. It's not as scenic as some of the ones we just played, but it is nearly as famous because this used to be an airport runway. Let's see if you can bring one in smooth here to the clubhouse. Wow, that's an interesting piece of information. This hole used to be an airport runway into the island. Wow. You can see the beautiful little clubhouse off in the distance there. It's actually a really interesting looking one. They showed it at the top of the video. It's got like the, uh, I guess it's straw style roof. I don't know if that's what you call that, but that's kind of cool. It used to be an airport. So not, not as scenic but has some history and we absolutely pipe it for our final drive of the day here at Teeth of the Dog. Gotta say this is an absolute amazing course. They did a fantastic job. Even with the inland ones, I mean, you can't really complain when you're surrounded by where you are in this environment. Those seven holes, Second shot up I mean, with that pin tucked in breathtaking, the absolutely breathtaking. Now we're gonna just try and stick a dart right into the flag here. Walk out of here with a birdie on 18, finish our day strong. Little fast. I haven't really been able to figure out Xander's speed at all today. But nonetheless, we got ourselves nah, good a putt up birdie. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Finish the day strong. We're at seven under. Let's see if we can. It is uphill. It is going to break. We're not going to put as much uphill. We'll try and die this one in the hole. Here we go. Hits it well. And it just dies on the short side. Well, we got ourselves a tap in par. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed Teeth of the Dog out here in Dominican Republic. It is an absolutely stunning course. We finished seven under. Very attackable. If you want an easy course to play with your friends, local match or um, or online, I would recommend checking it out. It's the number 30 on the list, so it's, it's pretty far down there. But I appreciate you guys hanging out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. It helps the videos a lot. Helps me show, sh shows me that you're interested in these videos. I love making them. We got a lot of golf content coming from this game. And thank you so much for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll be back here with another course review in a couple days. Bye, guys.